You were talking off the top of the show about the last presidential election, and it just feels as as observers uh, of politics, one of the most worrying and troublesome subplots has been the increased polarization of politics, especially south of the border. And I don't know about you, but I've been wondering about the future. I mean, how how is the United States going to function if if either side, both sides view the other side as enemies? It just doesn't seem like there's a path forward for any sort of dialogue. Well, right when things get at their, at their status, enter the, the race for Utah um, um, governor. And the, the two candidates uh, presented themselves as a united front on Twitter last week uh, in a way that just made everybody say, thank goodness. Let's take a look at their tweets. Let's take a look at the video. I'm Spencer Cox, your Republican candidate for Utah governor. And I'm Chris Peterson, your Democratic candidate for governor. We are currently in the final days of campaigning against each other. But our common values transcend our political differences, and the strength of our nation rests on our ability to see that. We are both equally dedicated to the American values of democracy, liberty, and justice for all people. We just have different opinions on how to... Love that. I know. So you, you watch that? What? I haven't seen that in a... So these two candidates, obviously the Republican is running way ahead of the Democrat, decided to use the hashtag Stand United, calling on more civility in politics. They said, no matter who wins this uh, this election, we need to work together. Uh, a couple of quotes from it, collaborating with those with whom we differ, strengthen our solutions. We must never mistake civility for indifference to the pain of those who've been wronged. Being decent to one another in politics is indispensable, both because it is the right thing to do, but also because it works better. Over the long term, civility is more productive than scorched earth politics because last change requires coalitions, consensus, and ultimately consent. I mean, listen, for us sitting in a room together, that makes perfect sense, but it is so hard to achieve in the United States. So Twitter was commending these two for, for putting down their swords as it relates to personal politics and personal attacks and really um, resolving to working together no matter who wins, because in the long term, that means Utah wins. So, uh, you know, uh, on the eve of this many different fights going on in Canada. It's really important to realize that there is a way to do politics better, and these two gentlemen are doing that. I agree. I agree. It's so nice to see that. And the fact that this is, like, novelty, yeah. like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really unfortunate, yeah. but hopefully a trend to continue. I hope. I love this. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it stands out because we see so little of it, I know. especially in these last few yeah. weeks as we head up to the election. Thanks, Ben. My pleasure. I Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.